Hey guys, um, so as you can tell, I'm probably kind of LARPing right now and I don't actually sit in the corner of my room and be all brooding and depressed and stuff like that, but I think I really just wanted to do it for dramatic effect for the thumbnail and to sort of give a metaphorical representation of the topic of this video, which is the shame and, um, I don't know, the shame and wanting to hide the fact of being a neat. And um, I'm gonna move over to somewhere where I'm more comfortable because this is giving me scoliosis right now. And um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy what's coming up. So, um, what to talk about? Um, yeah, so there's been, a, I guess, a few experiences that I can think of at the top of my head that kind of made me think about this um, topic of discussion regarding needdom. And um, specifically two major examples and one just, I guess, broader everyday example. And one of them was that um, um, one of my friends from back in high school, like, I guess we used to play um, League of Legends a lot with each other um, while I was still uh, a good productive citizen in university. And um, I don't know, anyways, um, he basically, I don't know, sometimes he messages me out of the blue, just, I don't know, sending me like, like a uh, pretty normie tier, normie trash tier memes, or um, I don't know, just really random shit, which is, I guess, what we talked about anyways when we were still friends. And um, I don't know. So he's doing this, and we're, we're talking about um, this show called um, 90 Day Fiance, <laughs> uh, which is, uh, I don't know, it's pretty funny, I guess, if you look at it look at it for what it is, which is, um, I don't know, just people who shouldn't be together, uh, being together because of some stupid show and, uh, people trying to, uh, exploit others for green cards and the, and having it the other way around for, um, I guess like exploiting them for sex or whatever, I don't know, to have like a beautiful, like, girlfriend or boyfriend but anyways that's beside the point so we're talking about this and I don't know somehow um it gets brought up in conversation um what we're doing during quarantine so he he asks me if I'm still in school or like what I'm doing right now so I think that's one of what I wanted to talk about specifically is like like what do you what do you say when someone asks you um like what you're doing at this moment and i guess i don't know the answer might depend on um how old you are as a neat and i guess i'm probably a younger neat at this moment although i'm kind of getting old but i'm a younger neat and um and i only imagine it gets harder as you get older but like already like I know I should answer truthfully and say I'm doing jack shit right now, but if I do that, then he's probably gonna tell all my high school friends. And I mean, they already, I'm pretty sure they already talk so much shit behind my back. I don't know. And um, this guy, I'm pretty sure he doesn't, he's not the type to instigate that, but he definitely is the type to, uh, He's like a gossiper, basically. Like, uh, like a, no, no, no. Um, he's a gossiper, and yeah. So when he asked this, I'm like, I always come up with some BS story about how I'm still in school. I'm in my last year. I'm about to graduate. I just got half a semester left. I've been taking my classes um, online or some shit because I guess. One positive, one positive about the COVID is I can 
kind of tell these lies with a straight face because you know technically i am if i were in school right now i would be at home and um, <laughs> so i guess that's one positive of covid19 is that i can lie about my status and my education my status about being edu uh, my educational status because um because i mean i'm telling a half truth when i say when i'm saying i'm studying at home because i am at home but i guess i'm lying about studying because i'm basically not doing anything productive at least by society standards and um yeah, so he basically, I basically tell him the story and it really just made me think like, there's just so much stigma associated with not uh, pursuing a career in whatever, not finish, not getting your college degree, your university degree, even though honestly, I feel like so much of that shit is just useless and um, yeah, just the fact that I had to lie, like, every time, and it's not just this one friend, it's like, every time I ask this question in real life, I always have to come up with some story to say, oh yeah, I'm, I'm working on things, I'm taking a gap year, I'm, I plan to go back to school, and fuck, like, I just, why do I have to, why do I have to feel so much fucking shame, you know, like, it's a shitty feeling, and... Yeah, so there's that, and um, what else? And yeah, I guess, I mean, do I really, even if, and it's not just being me per se, but it's just when you're not in the straight and narrow path that I guess society is pressuring you to get into, I don't know, I feel like you have to compulsively lie, but especially more so as a need because like, what do you say to people like nobody will understand you and all it's gonna do is make your life harder if you tell them the truth because people are just gonna judge you and um they're not even gonna try and understand like the circumstances that made you neat or like all the mental illness and all that stuff they're gonna tell you that you're just being lazy you have shitty character character which i guess might be true but yeah um people are such fucking assholes especially normies but um well i don't know i guess some needs are assholes too now that i think about it but uh i mean i guess there's assholes everywhere but normies are assholes in a very normie kind of way which is why you have to lie lie to them whenever they ask you about being neat you cannot it's like one of those taboos that you can't bring up if you want to even remotely stand a chance of um being a part of society i feel because they're just gonna talk so much shit behind your back and it's just gonna make it a thousand times harder for you to reintegrate if you ever have to do so in the future and there's just gonna be that sort of that mark on your track record that sort of it's not like not an actual track record but like a social track record that everybody has has in the back of their minds of each and every one of each other like this sort of track or track record or i don't know i guess people keeping tabs on each other mentally and blacklisting people who are at risk of going postal which is not me but when you tell people your need and that you're or that you're mentally ill then that's just what they think of you so i guess that might be the root cause of all the shame. Well, that's the root cause of me hiding my needum. And I guess that contributes to shame because, I don't know, am I ashamed of being neat because it's a shameful thing to do or it's, it's a, I don't know, I'm more ashamed of it because I know how people will perceive me if I tell them I'm neat, even though I think I sort of stand by morally what I'm doing. Um, it's hard to say, but I think it's the latter, although maybe that's just me coping. And the second thing that I want to talk about is, um, I don't know, um, I I guess at some point during the week, I decided to uh, do a good deed and I drove my dad to the 
grocery store, some Asian grocery store to buy groceries, Asian goods. And um, it's 30, 40 minute drive away. So I drive there, you know, and it's nice, you know, being outside, seeing nature and shit, you know, while on, while you're driving, because it's nice. It's a nice, it's a nice, oh fuck. It's a nice change of pace from the everyday, um, I don't know, view that I have of my wall and my computer screen and you can kind of smell nature. So I guess that's a nice thing. But anyways, um, so I go in, I pull in the parking lot. I tell my dad that I just want to wait in the car. That's all right. So he says, yeah, I'll just be back in 30 minutes. So he's out buying groceries and I'm in my car and you know, People are passing me by. I have no idea if they can see me or not. I'm on my phone. Um, and, you know, there are two cars parked beside me. Eventually the owners come and they put their stuff in. I'm not sure if they're watching me or not, but I feel like they are. And that's, that's what I wanted to get to is that I feel like Everybody can tell that I'm a neat and that I'm a freak and that I'm mentally ill and that just I'm outside, but somehow I don't know. Maybe it's just all in my mind, but I'm feeling like people are just judging me and and fucking like thinking, wow, this guy, look at him, like he's like look at his disgusting neat skin full of fucking deformities and shit and like. Or look at it. Look at him. Like, look at this fucking mouth breather with no, like, jawline. Or, like, look at him. Like this freak dressed up like he's still a teenager. And or even if I were to dress up, like, it wouldn't matter because there's so much fucking wrong with me. And I feel like people can just sense it. You know, like normal, well-adjusted people, or even just mediocre adjusted people. People aren't who don't have Asperger's and who've never been needed in their lives before, who just went on, this, went on the path set for them by society, um, uh, can just sense that I'm a freak, that I'm a need. And that's just, I don't know, I feel like need has, being need has just deteriorated my ability to act like a normal, everyday societal drone, which is good in some ways, but it's shit when you have to go out there and actually deal with I guess, quote unquote, functioning people because, well, um, well, I feel like they can just sense it. And that's just the other thing. Like, I feel so much shame just being outside and I feel like I'm being judged. And, you know, maybe that's because I'm neat or maybe it's because I'm my, of my social anxiety, but, or maybe my social anxiety explains the shame that I feel of being neat. Or who fucking knows? Like, this too much intellectual shit for me to think about. And, uh, yeah, so that's the other story. And the other thing is, off on a short tangent, is that the same thing kind of applies when I'm in my house. But, you know, especially when I'm on the first floor, if I can help it and my parents don't want any sunshine, I try and close at least one of the windows so I have somewhere to hide from the neighbors because... Basically how my house is structured is that like all the backyards are kind of facing each other of all the houses. So like there's, for example, two roads here and then the houses are kind of like lined up against the road, including the road on the here on the bottom part. And our house is in that bottom part. So our backyard is here and all the backyards are in a U shape, meaning that basically all the fucking neighbors can basically see into our backyard. So I'm just so worried that the same thing's gonna happen, except they can even see me more as a DJ and mong fucking shit saying of society turd nugget fuck wad because, well, I'm just, at least when I go out, I at least try and make myself seem somewhat presentable even though I fucking fail at it because um well I have no social awareness which is 
an important part of grooming and fashion aside from aesthetic sensibilities. I'd have no social awareness and I have no ability to groom myself properly, especially when it comes to my hair and ugh, fuck. So anyways, um, yeah, so there's that and I don't know. So I'm just the same kind of principles apply of when I was ashamed of being in my car waiting for my dad and that fear of being judged. The same thing kind of applies when I'm at home too and I feel like people can see into my backyard or see in, see from their backyards into my first floor area where they can see me walking around with my disheveled hair and my disgusting um, clothes. And, you know, maybe I'm being too hard on myself, but that's just the raw feelings that I feel and there's no really other way to put it. And yeah, um, I guess that's going to be it for the video. And um, that's just several instances of why I'm ashamed of being neat. Um, sorry if I seem kind of gloomy right now. Um, I'm still kind of coming out of my depression. So um, yeah, uh, hopefully you guys enjoy that and make sure to hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed what you saw and uh, hopefully I'll be uploading more frequently in the future. Uh, I know I should be doing that for the sake of my channel and uh, I'm just too fucking lazy right now. But yeah, anyways, peace out.